Hello, everybody. Good morning. We have uh, First Chronicles chapter number nine today, and we see that we're talking about uh, my Bible calls. It titles these some uh, dwellers in Jerusalem, the priests in Jerusalem, Levites in Jerusalem, the Levite gatekeepers, other Levite responsibilities in the family of Saul, of King Saul. And it goes on and, you know, just talks about all the people who are, who are in these different responsibilities. Uh, but what got me thinking is about, it says the Levite gatekeepers, and, and it's the biggest portion of this chapter. And, and you know, what, what, what is a gatekeeper? And it looks, it, you know, and after reading this, it looks like uh, I, I took a few notes, notes on, on, gate, on a gatekeeper. And it made me realize, you know, that I am a sort of a gatekeeper for the kingdom of God, you know, and, and Jesus when he uh, uh, um, gave us the model prayer, he said, you, you know, you, your will be done, your kingdom come. And God's kingdom is going to come through us. He, he, he wants to use us to bring his Holy Spirit down, to bring his power down, to, to reach a dying world. It's what he wants. So, so it just made me think. So I started looking at some of these. And, and if we look in verse 22, at the end of verse 22, it says, David and Samuel, the seer, had appointed them to their trusted office. So a gatekeeper was had to be somebody that could be trusted uh, this had to be somebody that 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 could be counted on um especially in old in, in these these ancient times you know where an opposing army could come and just totally destroy a city if the gatekeepers were were lax in their job no a gatekeeper had to be somebody who was trusted had to be somebody who was alert so it says, they and their children were in charge of the gates of the house of the Lord, the house of the tab tabernacle by assignment. So, so you know, now, you know, we don't have the house of the Lord. We have the kingdom of God and it wants to come through us and, and God wants to use us. But do we allow the gate, our mouths, our attitudes to swing open or do we allow it to stay shut? Is our mouth shut or is our mouth open? Is it an open gate or a closed gate? Which is it? And then we go down in, in verse 26, and it says, And they had charge over the chambers and treasuries of the house of God. And, and you know what? Looks like to me that they had access, and they could bring people to and keep people away from the intimate places of God and also God's currency. God's currency is love. You know, we have the power to show his currency. We have the power to invite people to an intimate place with him. But do we do that? You know, what did Jesus tell us? And, and when we look at the Great Commission in Matthew, at the end, in, at the end of Matthew, chapter uh, 28, verse 19, he says, Go therefore and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things that I've commanded you. And lo, I am with you always to the end of age. You know what else he said? We could take it up in Psalms. 141 3 he said safeguard O lord over my mouth keep watch over the door of my lips what what does he also say that jesus is the gatekeeper of our mouths and do we allow him to open our mouths and speak and carry out the great commission do we allow him to open our mouths and share with people so they can get to the intimate places of God? Do we allow him to open our mouths and share his love? You see, he, he wants an open mouth. He wants an open gate in our mouths, but we keep shutting it sometimes. And th this, this, is, this is a message of sharing the gospel of Christ. This is a message of you have the power, as we see here, the power that these gatekeepers had. Are you trustworthy? Are you alert in what the Holy Spirit wants to do? Are you trustworthy? Will you allow Jesus to open your mouth and speak on behalf of the Father of eternity? Will you allow it? God holds the key. Jesus himself holds the key to unlock the gate in your mouth. But you have to make the gate available for him to do that. Guys and girls, I love you all. Share the gospel of Christ. Have a super day.